Hey, this is a warning to everybody that's around the world, not just America. Um, America is just went to DEFCON 3, and we only been to um, DEFCON 3 three times. One 9-11, one with a um, Cold War, and now, now, we won DEFCON 3. And because of Russia and, you know, they supposed to have cyber attacked us and all that. So now we want to go through nuclear war, I guess. And Putin must think that we're going to do it too because he just did a practice session with 40 million people on um, hazardous baths and, and um, shelters. But... Nobody giving us pre-warning of shelters or telling us to stock up on water and mainstream media is not talking about this. And we in DEFCON 3. That's a serious threat level. You know, um, you know, we might work it out, but, you know, I got some video clips right after this that, you know, it seemed like that um, tensions are getting even worse, you know. Um... And how, you know, we is like ready for nuclear war. I don't know. This is probably part of the new world order, you know. But I know um, I didn't know nothing about it until I started, you know, checking out some YouTube clips. And I wanted to um, weigh in. So, but check out these videos. And after these videos, please subscribe. Uh, right now, Senator, for us to control all of the airspace in Syria would require us to go to war against Syria and Russia. All right, final question. When um, uh, I talked with ambassador, former Russian ambassador Mike McFaul, yeah. and I, we talked about the idea that every once you, 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 you got to respond when, you, when they're hacking. You got to do something. Uh, he described it as a high hard one. Maybe just, you know, sort of like in baseball, you throw a high, hard one to send a message. Why don't we send a message yet to Putin? We're sending a message. We have the capacity to do it. And uh, the message he'll know it. The he'll know it. And it'll be at the time of our choosing and under the circumstances that have the greatest impact. Uh, at, uh, at the so a message is going to be sent. Will the public know? I hope not. The United States Army remains the world's premier ground force, the foundation of America's joint force. And the Army, as part of the joint force, along with our allies and partners, must be ready to win, must be ready to fight tonight. But I want to be clear. I want to be unambiguous. I want to be clear to those who try to oppose the United States. I want to be clear to those who wish to do us harm. I want to be clear to those around the world who want to destroy our way of life and that of our allies and friends. The United States military, despite all our challenges, despite our op-tempo, despite everything we've been doing, will stop you and we will beat you harder than you've ever been beaten before. Make no mistake about that. 